A late night session, the Michigan Senate has come up with a way for the legislature to maneuver around the governor's COVID orders, at least for a short window. Mara McDonald live with more on this tonight. Mara, uh, there has certainly been no love lost between the governor and her Republican legislative partners. I think that's putting it nicely, Devin. And as we speak, the Senate is still in session and you're uh, the leadership of the legislature has made it clear that they think the governor has been heavy handed with some of her COVID orders. Like the Michigan Constitution gives the legislature the ability to call a joint committee when it's out of session and out of session will be after this Thursday. Please take a look at Senate concurrent resolution 36, which is being considered. The legislature may by concurrent resolution empower a joint committee of the legislature acting between sessions to suspend any rule or regulation promulgated by an administrative agency. Yep, it's a workaround. In plain English, it means the legislature can call a joint committee between December 18th and January 13th, and that committee can vote to suspend any rule or regulation coming out of an administrative agency during that time. In theory, it means they could suspend any new COVID orders, like the ones shutting down dine-in in restaurants right now. The current MDHHS COVID order is set to expire December 20th. Anything new would be subject to this committee. From the governor's office tonight, right Right now, our state needs an economic relief package to support working families and small business, funding for vaccine and PPE distribution, and a mask mandate to reduce the spread of COVID-19 and save lives. Back here live, this concurrent resolution is supposed to make it to the floor in the Senate sometime tonight. So far, that hasn't happened. Could it be pushed to tomorrow? Sure. In addition, is expected to take up a COVID stimulus package for the state tomorrow. Devin, Kimberly, back to you. Got it right, Mara, and we will be following that as well throughout tonight uh, for, for update coming up first thing tomorrow morning. All right, Mara.